I know these people that do it and they put in hard work. So when you said I wouldn't date a, a, a bus driver unless he owned his own bus, a lot of people felt it like, yo, that's disrespectful because just because I took a job and a lot of people take those jobs for a couple of different reasons. One, the benefits, right? Sure. They know they can work for 20 years. After 20 years, they can retire and they still get their retirement and they still get their benefits. All right, let's get to it. So we have Umar Johnson, Dr. Umar Johnson, back at it again. This time he's at odds with a lady by the name of Ebony K. Williams. She did an interview on Breakfast Club a few days ago, and he had issue with some of the comments she made about dating the bus driver. It aired last week. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about what's happened since then. We've had a whole White House Correspondents Dinner, which, which Roy Wood Jr. killed. Shout out to Roy. Mm -hmm. We've had the Met Gala. We've got a war in Ukraine and still a war in Sudan. And yet folks is still talking about this shit more <laughs> than anything else. And I think that speaks to something, right? Mm -hmm. I think it speaks to the insatiable nature of the fact that we've got to have this conversation mm -hmm. as black men and women. And we're talking about the black family structure and black wealth building. And all of those are tenets that are tethered to why this has hit such a nerve. OK, so the plot thickens. Because apparently, even though she's talking all this uplifting black men, before she got to the bus driver thing, she was talking about empowerment, black wealth, ownership, and all of that. But DJ Envy jumped in with a comment on behalf of working class people, which is an idea of how we feel about the situation when you're trying to give us game. But when we're looking at you, it ain't exactly what we see is what you're saying. It was like, you talk about all this about lifting a brother up and lift it, lifting this up and white supremacy and, and what you do for our people. And then the first thing the brother said was, but your fiance was white. And I'm sitting there like, how, how do you talk about how much you're uplifting and how much you're going for black people, but that's not necessarily what you're even looking for. Well, first of all- Paging I, Dr. Umar, damn. Well, What's the sister's name, brothers and sisters? Ebony, Ebony K. Williams, well-spoken sister. She made some great points, but dear Ebony, that's not what you was talking, sweetheart. That's not what you was talking. You was on some talented 10th bullshit and you tried to take it back to the community this morning, sister. See, we can't talk out both sides of our mouth. We can't talk out both sides of our mouth, sister. We can't talk out both sides of our mouth. I didn't disagree with much of what you said today, but that's not what you said the other day, sister. You was talking down to working class blacks. You are a bourgeoisie. You are a bourgeoisie feminist, and I hope to God you wasn't engaged in a white man, because I thought somebody said you was engaged to a white man. Eric Ebony, I better not find out your ass was swimming in the milk. If I find out your ass was swimming in the milk, I'm going to lose a lot of respect for you, sister. Because what that tells me, if you were with a damn Neanderthal snow puppy, then you're telling me, at the end of the day, you are trying to condemn black men to justify dating white. If you are an interracial dater, if you are a bunny hopper, then what you are telling me is your whole diatribe your whole rant against black men driving the bus was a justification so you can date a white man. I hope that ain't the case. I hope that ain't. You spoke well today, my sister. You still didn't deal with collective work and responsibility, though. I still heard a lot of Eurocentric individualism. I still heard a lot of Eurocentric individualism. And I don't know where you've been getting your reports from, sweetheart, but we got two million Africans with college degrees unemployed. We got two million Africans with college degrees unemployed because you was doing a whole lot of pushing college. You was doing a whole lot of pushing college today, like as some form of upward mobility. I'm sorry, Sister Ebony K. Williams. College is not an opportunity for 21st century Africans. There it is. Umar Johnson weighs in. So I kind of agree with Umar Johnson. She has some interesting points, too. But first of all, this is what I'm saying. So college is not an opportunity for 21st century African-American people because there's a lot of people with college, college degrees and can't get by and work in mediocre, regular jobs. And even assuming that you go to college for something that you're not getting mountains of debt and coming out making less than that, which is often the case these days. I believe in black wealth and building, you know, you're building up the black man and building up the community and all of that. But at the same time, uh, back to what Umar Johnson was saying is that you can't talk out of both sides of your mouth because you're talking about black empowerment, but you're dating other people 
specifically white people. So you, I mean, you can date whoever you want to date, but at the end of the day, it's difficult for people can take face value for what you're saying of building the community when you're not even building black communities with black kids in your own household. So it's kind of difficult for people to follow you. I feel for them because the bus drivers and the average person are what keeps these lights on here on the Breakfast Club. That's right. They keep me. They keep me booking it, shows. Nobody they is keep saying. Okay, first of all, this is not about you I'm, booking I'm shows. I'm, I'm this is about how I feel. So when you shit on the people that no, first ride of all, with me, I'll Evie, ride you're with them. dead ass wrong for framing it as me shitting on them. You don't first think I was shitting no, on them? I know it. First of all, I know it wasn't. I, I think what you're saying how right you now is irresponsible. I think what you're saying is irresponsible. Feel? Do you Evie, listen to the I calls, think, how people I feel? I think what you are framing right no. now in this moment is highly irresponsible. How? Because we're, I'm going to, if you listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Because if you were to listen to all of the full Yana interview, mm -hmm. the full sidebar, the full episode of Holding Court, Nowhere in any of that commentary did I say a cross or negative word about the working class of black America, of America broadly, or black men. 